Uh, welcome back everyone hope you're doing well as always welcome back to another scum video this one the latest update and which should be huge with the horde changes um, let's just go over what they've said about the horde changes um, they've done some heavy tweaking around horde behavior specifically in high threat zones includes tweaking spawners refresh rates and a lot of bug fixing around edge cases they said not everything is solved but they did a big pass in it and a positive in their testing but as always we can test in a much better capacity than they can so they're still looking for our feedback regarding anything else we find they've also adjusted uh, mid threat zones a little bit but not gone whole hog on that there's still some work to be done uh, they did also say adjusting the hordes uh, they are testing and adjusting the hordes according to official settings so i.e that's vanilla stuff if you crank the puppets up things will most likely break so do that at your own risk so we do have to be mindful on that let's look at the vehicle expansion kits so I'm going to go into the trailers here and go into miscellaneous. There we go. We've got the small storage rack. This will go on the dirt bikes and the mountain bike and the city bike. The big storage rack that goes on all vehicles and the improvised a big raft. So there you go. Let's grab that and you'll just walk up to any of the vehicles and you'll just look at the roof and then install that. This does hold two chests let's pop that one in now there you go as you can see that holds two two more chests and that goes on the rager that will go on there and that will go on the improvised big raft right this one here and this one here the storage are available to buy from the mechanics there is a medium storage container that is for the barber only and that can be purchased from the fishing supplies here you go on the dirt bike and the mountain bike you can see you have the storage there these will also require a lock as the main lock will not cover those and here we go we have the dirt bike and as you can see I've already pulled the items off of that one and you will buy the hell rider items I'll show you no loitering. either buy or get lost so there we go so these are the modular parts now the dirt bike body the brake light if you can't remove the body then it means you have the brake light in. So you have to remove that before you move the body. Yeah, it did wind me up for a little bit. There you go, you've got the Hellrider body and the Hellrider skull. And there's also a battery on the dirt bike now. It takes a battery, but only the backlight works, so I'm not sure. If you've got no battery in it, still kick off and it will drive, so I don't really see the point of that as yet. Right, there we go, there's the body. Obviously I've sprayed that front fender. will attach your storage there you go looks nice to do like that right so that's the vehicle expansion for the vehicles we're gonna go and take a look at the impro rafts and the storage for the barber right here we go in my hands I have the storage the medium storage rack for the barber you just go up to it and you'll stick it on the front right there that also requires a lock so don't forget that and here we go you have the improvised rafts are back now great stuff and if you're looking for those they are in um, base building there we go and they're the items you'll need for that one and that is what you need to craft those and as you can see on that improvised big raft, you can see the vehicle storage on there as well. So you can attach that on top of there. And these SUPs you'll find scattered around the map, laying along the coast. You will need a paddle, so you can either craft one or you can either buy one from the traders. Right, so there you go, that is the improvised rafts back. <laughs> We've been waiting for those for a long time. A lot of people have. Happy days. And also you've got the horse head mask now. Just the same as the others, nice and easy to craft, just need the horse's head and obviously a knife. And there we go, some cute bunny slippers. These are not in the crafting menu from what I'm seeing, but you can buy these from the trader for around 50 bucks. Right, there you go. So there is the latest update. Um, time to get testing, time to get in some bunkers and see how the encounter system is faring in those high threat zones. Right, take care, stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next one. Ta-da for now.